Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about the threats to coral reefs. So coral reefs are under threat throughout the world because of various reasons. This include both natural reasons as well as the anthropogenic causes. Here anthropogenic means uh, the factors influenced by the human interferences, human beings interferences. First let's discuss about the natural causes. These natural causes include bleaching. So it is the process of discoloration of uh, discoloration of the coral reefs due to the death of zooxanthellae present in them. So death of zooxanthellae that is the microscopic algae in the coral reef lead to discoloration of the coral reefs that is called the bleaching. I will discuss this in detail in the coming slides and other causes uh, for the destruction of the coral reefs include the violent storms, flooding, high and lower temperatures. So here extremes of temperature is dangerous for this is the survival of the coral reefs that is higher temperature and lower temperature is not good for the growth of the coral reefs and global environmental events like El Nino and Southern Oscillation so these events also causes the destruction of the coral reefs and predatory outbreak of the pathogens that is the disease causing organisms to the coral polyps also reduces the uh, formation of the coral reefs and other factors epizootics so the anthropogenic causes include uh, the chemical pollution uh, from the release of pe pesticide cosmetics and industrial pollution mechanical damage uh, by by way of shipping or mining okay and nutrient loading or sediment loading dredging dredging operation uh, to deepen the channel so this, these are the mechanical damages and shipping tourism mining activities so uh, there is a controversy regarding the adani Adani group of companies uh, taking up mining that is coal mining in uh, Australia okay uh, in Australia that is in Queensland so the where the uh, the Great Barrier Reef is present because of this mining activity the Great Barrier Reef is under threat so there are a lot of environmental activists are involved in the stopping of this project so this has been getting the approval right now that is that is the other case so the the destruction by the mining activities dredging shipping tourism activities and thermal pollution and intensive fishing these are all the important reasons for uh, for the destruction of the coral reefs throughout the world so this is happening right now on all parts of the world okay and let's discuss about the coral bleaching so this coral bleaching or paling or discoloration of the corals is due to two important factors so when the densities of the zooxanthellae present in the coral declines first before let, let me clarify you that uh, these coral reefs uh, has both coral polyps and zooxanthellae zooxanthellae are the microscopic algae which produces photosynthesis they also impart uh, impart uh, coloration that is the different pigments okay uh, to the coral reefs so this is the healthy coral reefs and this is the bleached coral reefs so this zooxanthellae provide color to the coral reefs okay and the color coral bleaching is due to the decrease in density of the zooxanthellae thereby reduction in the pigmentation and another reason may be the concentration of photosynthetic pigment within the zooxanthellae falls okay if there is a decrease in the concentration of pigments that is the photosynthetic pigments present in the zooxanthellae that also lead to coral bleaching so if the, the concentration of zooxanthellae declines in the coral reefs then the symbiotic association will collapse because uh, this zooxanthellae produces food materials that is the carbohydrates so without zooxanthellae there is no food source for the coral reefs and naturally the coral polyps also be destroyed along with the coral along with the zooxanthellae so this is the concept here so this coral bleaching is caused due to various reasons including sedimentation, higher temperature, irradiance, or release of uh, fresh water into the ecosystem. So I will discuss this in detail. Okay, And some of the ecological causes uh, for the coral bleaching include, so these ecological causes and coral bleaching is due to the uh, general response to various stresses. These are the Im important various stresses that is leading to the coral bleaching. So coral bleaching may occur due to combination of factors that I am going to discuss here. So these include the temperature variance that is the higher and lower temperature, solar irradiance, so solar radiation, 
सब एरियल एक्सपोजर सेडिमेंटेशन फ्रेश वाटर डायल्यूशन इनऑर्गेनिक न्यूट्रिएंट्स, जीनोबायोटिक्स एंड एपिजोटिक्स फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट टेम्परेचर हियर कोरल स्पीशीज लाइव विद इन अ रिलेटिवली नैरो टेम्परेचर रेंज ओके एंड एनी लोअर और हायर टेम्परेचर एक्सट्रीम्स इंड्यूस द कोरल ब्लीचिंग सो दिस इज एक्लेमेटाइज टू a small narrow range of temperature so if there is any extremes of temperature then that lead to coral bleaching that is the death of zooxanthellae present in the coral reefs so that leads to the coral bleaching so the temperature range uh, extremes of temperature may happen uh, when there is an intense upwelling episodes seasonal cold air outbreaks happens in the ocean atmosphere so this brings the cold temperature uh, to the ecosystem thereby destroying the uh, zoos and they are present in the coral reefs and second thing is the solar solar radiations so during the summer temperature if there is higher solar radiations and these coral, coral living corals present in shallow waters then that leads to bleaching and third thing is that sub aerial exposure here sudden exposure of reef flat corals to the atmosphere during events such as extreme low tides so during during the low tides the oceanic water will be reduced so if this is the level of water the water reduced to this level then that that will exposes the coral reefs to the direct atmosphere level so naturally what happens the coral reefs uh, present slightly below the level of water uh, so that uh, it is protected from the harsh climatic conditions so during the low tide events uh, this is directly exposed to the atmosphere thereby direct sun radiations so that also lead to the a destruction of zooxanthellae and another reason is that el nino southern oscillation event here due to this el nino event uh, sometimes some part of the world uh, experiences the reduction in sea level okay so this sea level drop also exposes the coral reefs to the direct atmosphere and events like tectonic uplift also exposes the coral reefs to the direct direct solar radiations so these are also leading to bleaching and a fourth important thing is the sedimentation so we all know that uh, the coral reefs requires fresh water so sorry sorry clean clear and saline water okay and this sedimentation sedimentation reduces the clarity increases the turbidity of the water so this also result in the destruction of zooxanthellae because they need sunlight for uh for the production of food materials by means by means of photosynthesis so if water is not clear if water is more turbid then that leads to destruction of zooxanthellae because they lost the capacity to produce the photosynthetic products okay and the fifth important reason is that of fresh water dilution so the coral reef thrives in uh, good salty water level if there is more fresh water adds to this coral reefs area ecosystem then that leads to bleaching so fresh water may be added by means of storm generated precipitation or runoff so this also leads to bleaching and the sixth reason is that inorganic nutrients here inorganic nutrients like uh, uh, like ammonia and nitrate these are all the nutrients okay and these nutrients increases the susceptibility That, that is the susceptibility of the uh, coral polyps as well as uh, this zooxanthellae to diseases so thereby destruction of the zooxanthellae and the seventh reason is the xenobiotics here xenobiotics are the chemicals the, the toxic chemicals uh, to the organisms here these include uh, chemical contaminants including copper herbicides and oils these are all leading to destruction of the zooxanthellae thereby leading to coral bleaching and the eighth reason is that epizootics certain disease causing organisms that is the pathogens uh, create uh, causes disease to the coral polyps not the not the zooxanthellae coral polyps so thereby uh, direct death of this uh, animals tiny animals coral polyps which inhabit the coral reefs so thereby it also resulting in the death of the zooxanthellae as well uh, because uh, the uh, coral polyps also dies because of this epizootic event so these are all the important uh, reasons ecological causes for the coral bleaching 
okay temperature solar radiation subaerial exposure sedimentation freshwater dilution inorganic nutrients zoonotics and epibiotics epizootics please uh, try to remember these eight points uh, from the examination point of view and united states national oceanic and atmospheric administration that is noaa is monitoring uh, the oceanic temperature uh, for bleaching okay hot spots okay for bleaching hot spots and these are the areas where sea surface temperature raises 1 degree celsius or more above the long term monthly average so if the sea, sea temperature increases 1 degree or more throughout the month okay uh, throughout the month or uh, through uh, several months then these are monitored by the united nations oceanic and atmospheric administration so they found that uh, in 1998 uh, there was a widespread destruction of uh, uh, coral reefs due to coral bleaching okay and this coral bleaching was due to the el nino event which uh, resulted in the variation in the sea water temperature so el nino effect is directly relevant here because of the findings from the noaa okay noaa also uses night time only satellite to uh, to monitor the night time temperature because daytime uh, sea water is uh, uh, heated by the exposure to the direct sunlight so during night time they also monitor the sea water temperature thereby uh, finding the the result of higher temperature on the coral reefs so these are the important findings from the noaa thank you thanks for watching so thank you